Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Forwent, here playing as Dean Nodge. Um, we are currently in a war versus the Korokunalu, who actually can't get to us, so I'm fairly safe about trying to take all their Iraqi lands. Um, we've actually got some tech now. We've made it to level 4 in everything, which is kind of amazing. Um, we actually have a half-decent air, which is kind of cool. Uh, eight. It's just kind of the reverse of our current roller. And we're sitting at about 87 development, which is cool. And I'm just waiting for this war score to tick up enough that I can take all that land. Specifically, I can take Baghdad, which is my main goal. I want Baghdad because it's a 20 development province and a center of trade. Also, if I was trying to form Arabia, I think it's one of the required provinces. Yeah, it is. Obviously, I can't do that because I have to take Iskandaria, so I'd have to cake all the way over to here, and then I'd have to take Aleppo, which I'm not looking forward to doing, considering I want to be friends with the Ottomans, and taking land they want would definitely not be the way to be their friends. Uh, on the other hand, we've converted all but one province over here to Sunni. Um, the Yemen is still... the Yemen. Yemen is still dealing with having a lot of Shia in their lands. But thankfully, we just outright convert them, so that's not a big issue for us. Next month I should be able to take that land. And then I'm going to have a fun time holding on to it though. Oh, next month. My apologies. Okie dokie. Oh, I can actually steal some money too. Five gold. Might as well. There we go. Big conquest. I now border up here to the Ottomans. Um, shoot, they want my provinces though. Um, I'll ask for military access. Hopefully they'll like me. That's what I was a little bit worried about, was if I expanded too far north, they'd be a bit annoyed with me. Hopefully they stay friendly. Um, I could ditch the Mamluks and get the Ottomans. I think that would be my best move at the moment. There we go. Okay. Now I feel vaguely safe. I'm allied with the foremost military power in the Western world. And uh, they're beginning their rise to power. The Mamluks are still friendly towards me, but there's no way I'm going to get an alliance now. However, I am now at 140 development, which let's see where that puts me in the rankings of countries. Um puts me about equivalent to Denmark and Ethiopia. So that's fairly good. Um, could be a little bit better, but we're now going to dominate most of the trade moving through this region, which is really, really nice. Um, I might actually be able to dominate more once I have the chance to uh, shift my trading port again from this province to Baghdad. Or to um, Basra here. And I also have to worry about this province here, Samoa, which is a stronghold of the Shia faith, which I didn't really know was a thing until I conquered it once and found out. It's a bit annoying. Um, I guess it's to make sure the Shia faith is hard to eliminate. But uh, I don't think there's an equivalent one for the Sunni faith other than Maka here. So, Mecca in modern day language. So... Lots of conversion, etc. Luckily, a good portion of the land I stole was Sunni, so that makes it a little... Well, pretty much loyal, actually, looking at it that way. Ah, oh, we get an additional plus two production. Oh, and back in Baghdad. This may be industrious, maybe one of the better uh, ruler modifiers, because you'll randomly get bonus production in provinces. Obviously, my conquest of Yemen is going to have to wait for a while. Switch back to military. 
they're still a fairly strong force. Um, we've got less troops in the field, but that's because they can quickly raise troops if they need to. I do have a mercenary. I'm not sure if I should get rid of him or keep him around for the time being. Um, we'll see. I don't have a deep manpower pool, and those type of guys are always useful. However, when I attack Yemen, I'm also going to be fighting an invasion from Hormuz. Hormuz, I, I don't really know the actual pronunciation of that. <sighs> yeah, we can't convert these provinces. At least not till... Uh... Oh, these are both religious centers. Oh. Okay, I guess we don't have enough missionary strength yet. I think it's seven because of the their Shia and yeah point three. We need more more uh, piety in order to convert it. Persia has emerged though, so I should try and become friends with them. Um, I believe they're in pretty good shape actually. Persia, 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 Persia. They don't. They have 12,000 troops in the field, and they can have up to 23. So obviously I'm not going to go conquer them yet. But they probably make a good uh, place to conquer at some point, because they're mostly Shia. And the Ottomans don't tend to go that way. can't convert this province because it's the home of strong aristocrats or whatever. Seat of strong aristocrats. Blech. How annoying. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. Our wife is not a bad, uh, our ruler's wife is not that bad, so I'll happily keep her around. Okay, almost cored all these provinces. Actually, we have. Um, what do the states actually look like up here? Okay, Basra would be those two. I definitely want to do those two. Those are pretty nice provinces. Specifically, Basra with the undeveloped uh, farm, well, fairly undeveloped farmland. There we go. Who do I need to actually core that? 55, okay. Um, then I'll probably focus on coring uh, Baghdad region up here, which will help a lot in stabilizing things. And I will probably be able to adopt Mashrike, Mashrik culture, which will also help with converting this land. Yeah, obviously the core Kunalu are gonna be pretty mad at us, but they're a, they're a dead state at this point, so I don't have to worry too much about them. Hi, Ardalan. Too bad I can't actually conquer you. The odds are they'll probably die to the Ottomans at some point. Um, I'll rival you for no apparent reason. Do you have any rivals I care about is actually the question. Persia doesn't like you that much. Persia hates me, though. Neighboring heretic religion, of course. Gotta love those modifiers. Um, yeah. Amir's gonna want a lot more land. I'm gonna give the most of the desert out here because it's not that good land anyway. I believe I can now, yes, adopt Mashriq culture. Um, yeah. Hmm. I guess I'll take that hit. It's not exactly what I wanted to have happen. Um, how are we doing? We can tell 26 of it there, 31 of it there. Just trying to figure out where would be the best uh, area to focus on. I also can increase, enforce, do enforce religious, enforce religious unity, um, which would actually allow me to convert these provinces. Barely. In fact, I'll be able to convert them now that I've gotten more 
piety, I believe. Oh, no, nope, just right on the border of it. Uh, I don't believe our ruler, yeah, it's not Sheikh uh, Dulalam here, so we don't have an additional missionary strength. But we're getting close to actually being able to deal with Baghdad, which is cool. I'm going to keep improving relations with both Persia, the Ottomans, and the Mamluks for the time being. Keep them all fairly happy with me. Um, actually, now that I think about it, the Ottomans are fairly happy with me. I should be getting claims on the Mamluks' lands now that they've uh, annexed the Hejaz because I want to take Mecca get custodian of the holy cities for the additional mercenary and the prestige. Ideally, I'd like to also get Jerusalem, but that's risky because I'll probably lose my alliance with the Ottomans over that. I prefer to keep the Ottomans somewhat on my side. Um, I suppose I should do... Uh, centralization efforts just to try and get this land more under control. The more profit I can get, the better. And this is by far and away my most profitable region. More importantly, once I core this, I'm going to start developing it. No, I don't want an alliance to merge. You're pretty much dead anyway. Shoot. I meant to core it before I developed it. And actually, I didn't even mean to develop it then. That was a mistake. I can develop it a little, but right now the autonomy is still fairly high. Ottomans have done their golden era, though. That's good to see. That means they're going to get weaker earlier. The cost of getting stronger in the meantime. Venice killed off the Byzantines, what a shock. Venice is doing fairly well, it looks like. Of course, they won't last a minute if the Ottomans try and kill them. Genoa got kicked out of this region. Trebizond, though, um, survived and is allied to Theodoro. So that's a thing. And Theodoro is in a trading league with Novgorod, which is odd. Ryzen is huge. Poland lost Lithuania? Looks like it. What else is going on? Burgundy is killing France. England hasn't killed France, but is busy killing Aragon, apparently. Um, Aragon's under Castile. Castile's losing versus England. This is another very weird world I've wandered into. Austria is no longer a great power. I don't really know how they were. I guess the collapse of the Timurids must have allowed them to creep in there. Oh, let's just core those before I forget. Little bit of Iraqi separatism. Just a little bit that I don't want. Hopefully... That my size and oops okay there we go sorry I just realized my spy had been caught in the Mameluks lands and that was going to uh, make it so that I couldn't fabricate a claim for a little while the Ottomans should strike either now or in two techs I've still got a ways to go before I actually get the Renaissance um, it started to spread in Baghdad which is nice um, did the Mamluks embrace it? Yes, they did. So eventually it'll start spreading this way, but it's not going to spread fast through level 3 provinces. So That's going to be a bit of a joke. Um, still got a ways to go to getting another military tech or anything. <sighs> Lots of waiting, then. On the other hand, um, I'm going to get some money from Baghdad. I should probably stop the centralization effort looking at it. Although it is slowly lowering the autonomy, it's not lowering it fast enough. 
to actually be worth it. Because you see right now, the state maintenance is significantly higher than the income. It's kind of cool that it bothers putting it out to three decimal places, though. Never realized that. Yeah, I'm going to stop this. Because I need the money, and this will, should allow me to hire an advisor. Ah, actually, it'll allow me to hire a missionary guy, which should allow me to convert those provinces. There we go. Exactly the way I want to do it. It's going to take a while to actually convert these provinces, but once they're done, it will be Sunni all the way. Except for down here where it's not, where it's Shia and a body, but hey. What can I say? I love how the core corner will randomly have a province in Persia. Did Persia sell it to them, or...? I guess Persia must have sold it to them. That's weird. Or the Timurids did. Oh, was that an expansionist Georgia? I think it was. I think Georgia just took some provinces. Oops, what was that? What was that? Uh, military support, yes please. Still losing a little bit of money. I think that it's the missionary is expensive. The missionary on top of the uh, other stuff. Oh, Austria reformed the HRE a bit. That's interesting. Okay. Um, we'll let the Alema gain a little bit of influence. The Renaissance is almost embraced in these border provinces. Or at least that border province. I think I'm going to have to develop uh, Wasit here a little bit. It's pretty cheap, actually, looking at it. On the other hand, I really do need to catch up in tech. Hmm, it's a bit of a dilemma. Oh, this is not good. The Mimluks have now allied themselves to Yemen, Morocco, and Hormuz. That's not promising. Okay, that's not good. Religious rebels. Luckily, Europa allows you like one or two month grace period on events, so I can use that to sort of rebuild my military in time. There we go. Kind of a convoluted way of doing it, but should prevent me from falling into debt, which is the main point, while still allowing me to convert this province. Oh, so slow. <laughs> Sorry, it's just so hard to get institutions as these guys, because you also suffer a 5% spread penalty because of tribal federations. Oh yeah, yeah. Tick tock, tick tock. It takes forever. So, in case this wasn't clear, but I think it is at this point, this is an achievement run, obviously for jihad. But um, for most of it, I'm gonna have to play it pretty much like a normal Europa game because of 500 provinces is gonna take forever. Hoping I get a lot of it down here and maybe into India a bit. Well, we'll see. Luckily, being able to converse must, convert most anything comes in really handy. Obviously, once I get going, I'll probably take religious. I'll probably it's like my third or fourth idea. That way I can actually convert things really fast. But for now, 
I think I'll take probably administrative for the core creation cost. On the other hand, hmm, I'm just thinking about it. It might be worth me taking defensive because the amount of lands I'm going to be able to conquer between the first idea group and the second idea group are going to be tiny anyway. So the administrative cost will not help that much. Plus my first idea is army tradition, which if I combine that with the army tradition from defensive, I'm looking at a fairly good level. Hmm. I might actually do defensive and delay my reform a little bit because the additional 10% army size and 15% manpower is all that's really making me a power in the world at this point. So if I lose that, I'm going to be in a lot worse shape than I am now. Anyway, 5% that one province. Let's at least catch up in tech a little bit, even if it's not the most efficient way of doing it. I'd much rather have a army that can fight rather than not have an army that can fight. If that makes sense. Even if uh, I still lose some points out of it all. Hopefully when our ruler dies, we're still trying to get admin points and stuff. Ardalan wants an alliance. Sure, I guess I'll ally myself to them. I mean, there's no really reason not to. My only ally right now is the Ottomans. And they can be a fairly fickle ally. They are getting beat up by... Oh, sorry. The Mamelukes are getting beat up by them, though. Obviously, for now, I'm not going to try and fight the uh, Mamelukes. I'm going to let the Ottomans beat them up. Probably uh, either this war or the next war, I should be able to either join in and snag some land of my own. I want to take specifically this land. Which, for right now, the Ottomans will not have cores on. They'll just have cores on all this. So... The Mamelukes are so dead in a war with the Ottomans, it's ridiculous. Taking the Golden Age like the Ottomans did just is going to make it worse for the survival of the Mamelukes. Um, who knows, maybe the Ottomans will release a nation like uh, the Hejaz and then I can go kill them. One can hope, right? One can definitely hope. At least the Ottomans don't seem to want my land, which is amazing. I'm so glad that's occurring. And then if we can get a little bit more, we'll get the admin started. Oh, I've got to keep the piety going. Got to keep that piety pouring in. Um, I can demand some money here, which is nice go. Snag that tech right before the uh, cost ticks up again. Um, yeah, I think I will go defensive. That way I can actually win a war against somebody like Yemen or Ethiopia, and then I can worry about reforming my government. So I'll do that, switch focus to military. Especially since I got a quite a wait here before I get the Renaissance. Actually, let's just spend some of this on the Renaissance there. Because it's fairly cheap, actually, which is nice. Look at that ruthless conquest by the Ottomans. Just, there's no quarter being given to the Mamelukes. can hire a military guy, which is nice. Still going to be tech behind... Oh! Yemen! Whoa, buddy! You just got destroyed! 
You're only allied to Hormuz. Actually, that's an opportunity. But that's going to have to wait till next episode, sadly. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it, though. Um, I should manage to take this land. Uh, Ethiopia is going to be a bit of an interesting person to mess with. They've got a really strong early game, especially since they still have Zara Yaqob, the 71-year-old ruler, on the throne. And they're Coptic, so they're going to be able to be pretty powerful. But we do have the Ottomans, and hopefully that will be enough. So thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you all next time as we conquer what remains of Yemen. And uh, probably move on to dealing with Ethiopia or Persia. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.